Bronson, wash those feet. <sighs> Faye likes to run her fingers through my hair, you know. Yeah, what's left of it? <laughs> Linda, I'm leaving in six minutes. Am I going bald? Nah, just receding. Because you've got dandruff something fierce. Dandruff? Do you think I'm too old for Faye? Of course not. Women go for men who look like their grandfathers. <laughs> Grandfather? Pete, I'm leaving in two minutes. Do you think I've got dandruff? Nah, but you're going grey. Grey? I said that the recession dandruff was receding. Oh, good grief. Come on, Linda. Finally, Come police in. have still not recovered an experimental device stolen two nights ago from the government scientific laboratories. Police warn anyone who has knowledge of the whereabouts of the stolen device not to activate it under any circumstances. You're gonna be in big trouble when Splodge sees your hair. No one's crazy <laughs> enough to go to school looking like that. Oh. <laughs> See you, Bye, Dad. Dad. See you, kids. Hi, kids. Hi, Faye. Hi, Faye. Hi. Not at work. Morning, Bronson. Lovely day, isn't it? No, it's not. <laughs> Bye, Dad. He'll come round. He just has to learn that love isn't like water in a bottle. Huh? Well, you know, it doesn't run out. I mean, just because I've got some love for you doesn't mean he goes short. In the end, he'll be better off. Still spiky, huh? Yeah. I even tried plaster of Paris. What are you looking at? Nothing. I wasn't looking at your hair. Honest. Why don't you take a long walk of short pier? Everyone will be copying this style soon anyway. Yeah. Hey, here today. Gone tomorrow. Splodge, what are we going to tell him? Um, we've got to get our story straight. Yeah, um, straight. We'll be right if we just stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Stick together. Stick together. What's going on here? Where? Here. Oh, here? Yes. Uh, here. <laughs> this way. Set. My coffee blender. Interesting hairstyle, boys. You better have a good excuse. He's very touchy about his hair. Got your story straight, boys? Nah, just out here. <laughs> well, who's your spokesperson? What's that? The one who gets the blame. Look, guys, we'll all just stick to the same story, okay? It's not as if it's anyone's fault. Right. Yeah. We take the blame together. Okay, groups? Absolutely. Definitely. Without a doubt. Whose idea was this? His. His. Of course. Who else would come up with such a crazy idea? What's the meaning of this? I didn't do it. It wasn't my fault. There's a perfectly logical explanation. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, let's hear this perfectly logical explanation. And it better be good. Well, it all started yesterday. We were coming back from the inter-school sports. <laughs> and we were taking the car ferry back to Port Miranda. Yes, and make the dribble is a boat for progress. Come on now. Go, 
Navy, Harold? Oh, yes. I was in the Sea Scouts. <laughs> clothes. Get real? Give me those clothes. Over my dead body. That can be arranged. Why do we have to go to a home, Harold? We had a home. The senator knows what's best, Mum. Uh. You know, it's costing us a fortune to send you to Sunnyside Village. <laughs> Graveside, more like it.
senator's feeling rather unwell. Uh, do you have anything for motion sickness? <laughs> <laughs> Send a tall skinny bloke with a bag? No, mate. <laughs> ah, the old C6 swang trick, eh? Well, I'll fix you. Ah. <laughs> Sit down, pay attention. Uh, sir, can I please go to the toilet? Yes, of course you can go to the toilet. Uh, I'm desperate. Yes, of course you are. Now. You, you double-crossing scum. Where is it? What are you talking about? The perfect cover, eh? No one I know it was you, except me. Where's the money? I didn't take it. Must have been that other kid. He took my clothes as well. Let's go. Well, what about my pants? All right. Hurry up! Well? Nah, none of them's him. School uniforms must be worn on all school excursions, Pete. Yes, sir. Come on. Here we are, over here. Come on, both of you. You all right? You right, Dad? Yeah, I'm fine. You sit here and I'll attend to Harold, right? There we are. Now, James, you look after your grandparents. Hey, I'll go find your father. Hey, isn't that twist bag? Take your thieving eyes off it. Ooh. Ooh. Don't talk to me like that, dropkick. James, behave yourself. Tough guy, huh? Hand over that bag. Get lost, shrimp. Ooh, shrimp, shrimp, eh? eh? Yeah, shrimp. Get him. <laughs> You're dead meat. Oh, we're terrified, aren't we, Josh? Yeah. Uh, listen, guys, be reasonable. He asked me to mind his bag. Who did? Uh, what's his name? Twitch. Twist? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Well? Not here. Not unless he's had a sex change. Nah, can't do that. I think. Oh, love the outfit, Pete. Very nice. We'd love to stay and chat, ladies, but... Ah! <laughs> Get him, Chris! <laughs> you mongrel! No, no, don't, don't push you idiot! Leave it alone! You make us younger! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. 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 Dad, 
I've been in this job for over 30 years. And in all that time, I've never heard such a load of claptrap. Lies, falsehoods, and downright dishonesty. Do you really think I would find that story funny? Hmm? I will not be set up by a ridiculous farce invented by four harebrained students. It's true, sir. For once, Twist is telling the truth. <laughs> You boys are either incredibly stupid, unbelievably warped, or else you are unmitigated liars. But I am going to get to the bottom of this. Well, to be quite honest, sir, we're not involved. We didn't say a thing. What? Twist us off in dreamland, sir. Uh, we, we were just trying to protect him. I can prove it. Stop, Twist. 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 Don't touch it, sir. This piece of adolescent junk makes you younger? Yep. Or older. You expect me to believe that? Glenda, get in here. You boys can start looking for a new school. You're all expelled. But there aren't any other schools in Port Miranda, sir. Really? Out. Wait outside. Glenda, take a letter to their parents. You know, Glenda, I wasn't always bald. I had a full head of hair when I was younger. This is all your fault, Twist. My dad's gonna kill me if I get kicked out of school. I don't like it any more than you do. Well, we've gotta think of something. Oh, no. It's... it's Miss Newman. Oh. Personally, I'd really like to thank you boys, but I think he might still be very touchy about his hair. <laughs> Boy with us today, Andrew Shelford. I need a volunteer to show him the ropes. I'll show him the ropes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, I will show him the ropes. James Gribble. Andrew. Yeah, what ropes? Nice that, mate. We'll take a seat. We'll fix you now, up. Tomorrow morning at 10, we'll be holding auditions for the school drama. So 
romantic comedy this year, I expect a full turnout from all aspiring thespians. I will never forget the time we kissed on the old pier. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's working for me, but now you have to kiss him on the mouth. Who? Whoever gets a part in the play, Dom. Yeah. Now be passionate, Linda. Don't be shy. I realise this is your first kiss. It is not. Who have you kissed? That's private. I wonder if that new kid can kiss. I mean, act. Only dogs kiss girls. Dad, uh, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, sure. Hello. Oh no. Just out for a run, keeping fit for the Senate. <laughs> Harold Gribble, fit to run. <laughs> You're not fit for anything. Oh, now, come on, you two. The election's not on yet. Come on, dear. Let's stay where we're not wanted. You're saying, darling? Uh, yes. Uh, this um, is a bit embarrassing. Oh. Well, what is it? You can tell me anything. Bras. Bras? Yep. What about them? Well, I think it's time for me to, you know, get one. <sighs> well, no worries. We'll go down to the bra shop. Dad, you don't go to a lingerie shop with your father. That's what mothers are for. Ah. Now, we're auditioning for the school play. I'm looking for the leads, the two lovers, OK? Now, I want you to pair up. Boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. Come on, now. Don't be shy. Thanks. That's it, Pete. Fiona, very good. Please, why don't you go with Randy? Come on now. Oh, yeah, what's that, you and me? Keep the life fantastic. Get real. Yes, turn on. Come on now. Come on, dribble. You must be able to find someone. I say, we in that. Yes, you two, practice your lines. Do you want to do it together? Yeah. Yes, Madeline Rabbit, very good. Very good. Practice your lines. Okay. Darling. No tongues. Linda, <laughs> Linda and Andrew, why don't you pair up? Hi. Hi. Yes. Yes, you make a good pair. Yeah, a good pair of gloves. I think I'll grab those later. <laughs> now we'll be doing scene 15, where the lovers kiss. <laughs> now I don't want any juvenile nonsense. I want unbridled passion. Show me some courage. Pete, you know, you go first. Never forget the time when we kissed on the old pier. I remember. I remember. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Unbridled passion, Bruce. Yes, thank you very much. Next. Watch this, Gribbs. <laughs> Go get him, big fella. <laughs> I will never forget the time when we kissed on the old pier. Goodbye. I shall never forget the time when we kissed on the old pier. An abomination, <laughs> abomination. Thank you. Next, Linda, Andrew. Oh, this should be funny. Goodbye. I'll never forget the time when we pissed on the cold ear. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <coughs> Goodbye. I'll never forget the time when we kissed on the old pier. I remember it so well. He's going for it. She's going for it. Oh. Oh. 
Love is in the air. That's my sister. Sweet as lemon. <laughs> Tender as steak. Romantic as brickwork. Yes. I think we've found our leads. Very well done. But, Andrew, I, the gloves don't do much for me. I think we can lose the gloves. Yeah, the gloves don't do much for me either. How about you, Rabbit? We'll lose the gloves. Hey, Linda. <laughs> Faye, um, I need to talk to you about something. What's on your mind? Um, bras. Bras? Mm. Uh, not for you, uh, not for me, but for Linda. Oh, for Linda? Yeah. I was wondering if you could uh, take her to buy a first bra. Oh, of course I can. Anything like that, please. Just if I can help with the kids. Great. I'll walk home, it's not far. Only five kilometres. You sure, sweetheart? Yeah, I'll be all right. I'm glad to be back. I didn't like being away from the sea. I'd love to live on an island. It's great. Whenever the seas get too rough, I can't get to school. Why don't you take your gloves off? Uh, well... Can't say. That kiss was. Yeah? Oh, I can't say that either. How was the long walk home? Looks like she floated all the way. <laughs> On cloud nine. Look, I am not ashamed of how I feel about him. Good girl. Anyway, Pete, I bet you wish Fiona was on cloud nine over you. I oh, could have been great. that happy. Aye, uh, if you hadn't you fallen asleep. I know. Shilfish probably had a dream that he had to kiss Linda and now he's not going to come back. Yeah, well, I'm sure I'll miss that hat. <laughs> 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 oh, poor darling. Attention, <laughs> pass. Seems that our new boy won't be with us any longer. He'll be uh, continuing his studies by correspondence. Oh, I'm sorry about that, sir. Yeah, passionately sorry. Don't see what you need me for. I'm just letting Andrew know that some people around here can be friendly. You owe me one, Linda. Passing. On your way to Antarctica. <clears throat> oh, um, mind if I take a look around? Sure, sure. Thanks. Gee, fascinating so place. Is that a rock? How come you suddenly decided to leave school? Oh, well, I had to give Dad a hand around the island. Oh, yeah? And what does your dad do? Oh, he's been doing some research on the island's marine life. What's he studying? It's the common ghost crab. He's nuts about them. Always out collecting samples. Occupied Ceratopthalmus. You must be Linda. Heard all about you. In fact, that's all I've heard about. I'm Andrew's dad. I'll be back before dark. Well, he certainly likes me, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. If you didn't, you'd really know about it. He's just obsessed with occupied ceratophthalmus. That's easy for you to say. That's Mum. 
She's beautiful. Yeah. Dad misses her. Well, I never knew her. Good day, Mr. Shelford. You and your sister better get going soon. <laughs> Pleased to meet you too. No, really. You're a very fascinating man. Dad first came to the island when he was a kid. Fell in love with it. Why don't you take your gloves off? It won't make it's any right. difference There's to me. It's all right. There's nothing me. wrong. Come on. It's none of your business. Look, when there's something wrong, you turn to your friends, not against them. How many people do you know with three sets of fingernails? I'm a freak. Well, you could do with a manicure. Needs oh. another coat, eh? Sure does. Hey, Tone. Hot off the press, Tone. What do you think? You look younger. Well, it's the only photo I had. I don't think you'll get away with it. Do you reckon? Oh, she might. Why not? Why not? Yes. Yes. Well, what's wrong with it? Nothing. Oh, who's that? I could go for her. Uh, how was the new boy? Did you find out why he wears gloves? She knows, but she won't say. Yeah. You going to see him again? Is Bronson a guard? <laughs> hey, I'm in the nude. I am not interested in looking at small boys. where my shower cap's got to. Why are you wearing your shoes in the bath for anyway? Secret! Andrew's got secret hands. I got secret feet. Look out! Iceberg ahead! And the Titanic has gone under! What's wrong with me, Dad? Tell me. I've got a right to know. I'm turning into a freak. I want to see a doctor. Andrew, I've told you, a doctor won't do any good. These nails, they're growing all the time. More and more of them. And you should see my toes. Well, I'll get help. Someone who knows what they're Listen. doing about... I want you to go. I don't ever want to see you again. Come on, Andrew. Just go. Nick off. Leave me alone. I don't need people feeling sorry for me. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Should have bought a pair of hedge clippers. Come in. To do something about this. Look, he needs help. You have to get someone. No one loves him more than I do. I know what's best. Why can't you tell me what's wrong? Look, you're not sick. You don't need a doctor. Believe me, I know how you feel. The more you like each other, the worse it'll get. Be better if you stayed away. We can't see each other again? Be better for everyone if you didn't come back. <sighs> it's 
See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. It's all right. Don't worry. I know what's happening. She's here. She's here. Come on, come on. You don't have any choice. It's okay. It's okay. Remember the time when we it's done the cold here. <laughs> Wouldn't want me to get an earring. Reckons I'm too young. 
but not hurt his feelings. Sure, Bronson. Whatever you say. What's going on over there? Jobs. When I'm elected, I will support an extension. Oh, the fumes are blowing straight onto the mutton bird rookery. It's destroying their nesting places. Those birds fly here all the way from China. Yeah. Oh, people are more important oh, than birds. That's a pollution and it's criminal. Rubbish. That too. <laughs> we want a clean town, Harold. Yeah. And a tidy town. That's right. Well, if you want a clean town, you want to get rid of him for starters. You tell him, Dad. Our rubbish is our problem. Don't send us your city waste. You tell him this is. This depot <laughs> definitely does not process waste material from the city. Oh, not yeah. much it doesn't. We've counted 15 trucks in the last week. I'm not going to stand here and be slandered. I'm a man of my word. Right. Green at heart. And true blue. Take it from me. No waste from the city comes here. G'day. Here's that delivery from the city. Where do you want it? It's not from the city. It's from the outer suburbs. A fringe territory. Almost countryside. Take it back to where you brought it from. We can't store this stuff in the city. We don't want it. Neither do we. You can't push us country folk around. We've got voting power. Yeah. She's right, Senator. There are no votes in pollution. She's got to save her barrel. Yeah. You take that stuff back where it came from! Yeah. You're joking. Oh, yeah, fine. Okay. I'm here to protect these country people. Manage progress. Enhance rubbish. You take this stuff back where it came from. Yeah, you do it. Yeah, pollution around here. Yeah, what a dero. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. <laughs> Who's gonna make me? Yeah. Oh, fight, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! James! Boys, what are you doing? My earring! And your earring! My earring, it's gone! It's all your fault, Twist. You just better get me another one or else. You're in big trouble. Hey, yeah, what are you gonna do about that, Twist? No, no, boys. No need for violence. Here, have these on me. It's your lucky day, Twist. Yeah. Yeah. Don't forget to wash it first, James. What's going on? Get out or you'll mess up everything. Here they come. Keep a look at. I don't need this getting around. You uh, sure about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course I'm sure. But all the fuss is about it's biodegradable. Let it rip. Okay, you're the boss. <laughs> What was 
what? Sounds like some kind of pump. <sighs> smells awful. Worse than Bronson's feet. Then that's saying something. Oh, no! Oh, they're pumping it right onto the beach. Disgusting. Dad! Spies! It's a twist kid! Quick, over here! That'll be a quick Push off, twist! Your dad can't do this! Scissor! Now shovel! Oh, ah! uh. <laughs> All dressed up and nowhere to go, Pete. <laughs> this before, but I'm, I'm afraid of heights. Really? <sighs> well, Bronson will never move. No. I'll go anywhere. An old boat. Uh, A railway carriage? No. A submarine? I'm going to have it out with Harold Gribble once and for all. Bash him up! We don't resort to pugilistic solutions, Bronson. No, we just bash him up. Oh, no, absolutely. Let's go. Hey, stay back, Pete. You still smell terrible. It won't come off. I feel sick. You'll probably smell like that for the rest of your life. I'll try some aftershave. Oh. About 50 litres should do it. Those feet are foul. How long since you've washed them? About six months. Six months? You are sick, Bronson. Sick. I can't smell anything. Yes, I can. The sludge won't come off. It's making the rubbish stick to me. 
darling we're out here at the waste disposal depot listen something's happened james is missing well, you lot haven't done anything to him have you well, no i haven't seen gribble since pete fell in the sludge I, they've called in the police that old tramp has been seen hanging around the place <laughs> look i think you'd better come out here uh, tell pete there's a bloke here who's got something to get rid of the smell all right all right thanks dad bye dad wants us out at the depot straight away well, I'm not going anywhere until I've had another shower. I've got to get this, this stuff off. I'll call a taxi. Howdy. Hey. <laughs> Bronson. Don't! Bronson, go burn! And quickly! It's a big fair, girly. Watch it. There's still one more passenger. And rubbish. <laughs> what? Baggage, baggage. Baggage is two dollars extra. What? Oh, well, quick, wind up the windows. Come on, Pete! <laughs> Come on, go for it now! Some cap. It's a joke. cost you plenty. Is it extra for rubbish? Yeah, and cleaning. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Pete always brings his own tip. <laughs> Very funny. Should be okay out here. There's no garbage. Lovely car! 
This is gonna cost you a packet. It's okay, it's me. I fell into the sludge, so everywhere I go, the rubbish will follow. But as soon as I clean it up, we'll be fine. He's vanished. Can't find him anywhere. Oh. Now the press are coming. Great publicity. Senator Loser's son. Oh. It can only be an improvement. Oh, he's such a good boy. Someone's taken advantage of him. I just know it. He'll turn up, Major, and you know what boys are like. You think so? Yes, yes. Wow, look! Brunson, shut that window! Yeah. Oh, yeah. You are disgusting. You didn't talk. There it is. Fifteen dollars, thanks. Plus extras, baggage, extra passenger, interior and exterior cleaning, cut and polish, windscreen replacement, filth allowance, tip fees. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit short. What? No money! After all that! You ruin my vehicle, you, you scare the wits out of me. Well, Dad's here, somewhere. He's got money. No way. I've fallen for that one before. I'm not stupid. As soon as you get out that door, you're over the fence and then you vanish. No money, eh? All right. What else have you got? <laughs> take library cards? Oh, a smart guy, eh? Well, we'll just have to take a couple of things for security, won't we? Now, what have you got? Uh, 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 what about this? That'll do for a start. And I'll have that earring too. You'll get this stuff back when I see my money. What? No! 